And, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Huang Rui, and you can call me Rui. I live in Shanghai, China, and I spend 14 hours flying to here. So um, I'm from MD Graphics Linux driver team and focus on the kernel driver and libdrm for new ASIC bring up and new feature development several years. Today, this is my first XDC. So um, it's my great honor to have the opportunity to talk about the feature of bug moving in TTM and MD GPU driver to all of you in this conference. I'm very excited. And this is the optimizations that we developed last year for improving the performance and of the Vulkan and OpenCL applications. And till now, um, we continue to make it more stable on some corner case uh, during the testing. Okay, here is the agenda of the talk. I will introduce the background uh, and AMD GPU kernel, uh, GPU VM, program buffer object, buffer migration, and VM list definitions. Okay, why do I need talk about so many VM? Okay, okay. Uh, why do I uh, need talk about so many VM relation information here? Mm, that's because the most of buffer object that's probably uh, do the migrations are page directories entries and page table entries and per VM buffer objects. Uh, that I will introduce the uh, new list operation helper in Linux kernel and the new approach on TTM for buffer moving. And we will, I will introduce the use case in Linux uh, MD GPU driver. Finally, I will show you the performance improvement data in one of our Vega gaming cards. Okay, let's move to the background. And I already finished self-introductions, so I'm welcome uh, if you want to know some MD GPU kernel drivers information, uh, you can feel free to send me the uh, emails and we can talk also talk offline. And uh, look at the, the questions, uh, why we propose the solutions of bug moving? Actually, at that time, we are investigating how to continue improving the performance for gaming and the computing applications. We would monitor the behavior of the benchmarks, and there were still have some games where they have a lot of buffer being created from user mode. Most of them are moving on the LRU list for eviction. So far, the moving policy is probably still not good enough and still have some space to improve. Then we redesign the buffer migrations process in the code and try to make it better than before. Uh, this talk demonstrate the practical, the technicals, and analyze the scenario to provide us new solutions that bug moving. Okay, firstly, let's look at the big pictures of Linux MD GPU kernel driver. And MD GPU kernel driver is the kernel mode setting drivers and the DRM framework. And we have some components for different functionalities such as the device init. Device init, we will do the GPU V BIOS posting to make the VRAM variable. And, uh, and the next, uh, Mm, component is the the next component is GPU VM. GPU VM, you, uh, you know, we we need to map map the GPU's the virtual address to the physical address, and the memory manager, and so on. And we also have some hardware IP blocks such as the interrupt handle and the graphics memory controller, PSP. And PSP is a new part. Uh, it's the great part 
used for the former loading with the signatures. And we also have display, uh, graphics, SDMA, and uh, multimedia blocks such as the UVD, VC, and VCN. They are all the multimedia blocks for the codec, the encode, encoder, and the decoder. And there are all the related software IP blocks uh, to config and program in the hardware modules. Also, we will leverage the TTM and the GPU schedule and from uh, which are from the DRM component. And we can leverage um, the reservation and the fence structures in DM buff drivers as well. You know, the reservations uh, is we, we use for the lock structures during the buffer uh, locking. And we still need fence to mark haste. The command submission is end. And with, we can e signal the fence at that time. And AMD GPU has the MMU unit uh, for the address translations from virtual space, virtual, uh, sorry, virtual address to the physical address. So it is able to use the page table to map the system memory to the video memories with GPU VM. Uh, in the simple case, we map the guard table uh, oh, sorry, we, we map the guard memory with guard table uh, in the VRAM. And the, the guard table uh, is the one level page tables and only have the PTE as page table entry. And no PDE is a page, page directory entry is here. So with the guard table set up, the guard memory is able to be assessed by GPU as well. The guard, uh, the guard table must be in the video memory because only GPU is only able to assess the directly in the video memory. And MD GPU has 16 context domains, uh, which acted as the GPU MMU. And we were assigned VMID to identify each context domain, and they are separate use case uh, for different um, VMIDs. For VMID zero, uh, we use it for the system aperture. Uh, in other words, we call it the system context domain, uh, only be used for the kernel mode. And as mentioned in last page, guard table is leveraged by the VMID zero for one level paging. And for another, and about VMID 1 to VMID 15, they are be used by the user mode driver. Uh, for page table, is set up. While the applications uh, thread is created, uh, we were all four level paging as bureau. And we have the three PDEs and one PDEs here. And uh, actually, um, between uh, the one to, one to eight, we were used for the graphics uh, applications, and the rest of them we use for the compute applications. Okay, let's move to the Perim buffer object. And the list kind of definitions proposal by another performance bottleneck, and we found it would cost too much during the buffer validations in the build list. Uh, for some CPU bounding games. And then we co-work with the Vulkan driver to organize the BO types and uh, divide it to the pavilion BO and the sharing BO. Uh, pavilion BO is means uh, one BO, uh, if one BO is pavilion BO, and that means it's owned by one thread and one VM. And then we don't need validate it in the kernel side because they show the reservations with the VM uh, because uh, they were valid, they don't need to be valid again, but only sharing BO will be added into the BO list. That it will be discrete work of the BO list validations because parent BO is always valid in current thread. And for the eviction, uh, in other name, we can call it buffer migrations. 
And why the VRAM is not enough, CTM can help AMD GPU driver to evict unnecessary buffer out of VRAM to expand more available video memory. And then we will reserve the first two pages as the temper memory for eviction. Uh, you, you say one page side of the page table entries can be mapped to make megabytes uh, system memories of the address space. And then the buffer is due to migration. Uh, it will be copied into the temp memory per two megabytes and update. Then, then we update address. Then we update address in the page tables entries and point another two gigabytes in the system memory. Then it will be go with this one by one to evict the whole buffer object out of VRAM and with the same behavior, we can evict the buffer back to VRAM uh, while it is valid for use. Uh, let's move to the VM list definitions. I will describe some of them uh, we will be used for the bug moving. The first list is the evicted list. Uh, let's indicate the BOs uh, who needs to uh, who needs to uh, validations because validations to make sure the BO is ready in their memory domains, and because the BO list are all move out of the memories in this memory domain because they are evicted out, and the second list is the page table uh, BOs uh, which are relocated. Their their parents need to be uh, updates. The relocate list are the PDEs and the PTEs, uh, which are need to uh, need to do the validations, uh, because their entries in the parent PDE isn't updated yet. And the moved uh, list means the parent BIOS uh, is moved, but not yet updated in the page table. So uh, the most important is idle list. The idle list uh, of this VM is not current use in it's not currently used in the current state machines. In other words, all the PTE and PDEs and Pavilion BOs buffer object, uh, which is owned by current VM, will be allocated uh, in the idle list. Then we can buck move them one time. OK. And this function is we are already adding it into the list header of Linux kernel for bug moving. Uh, the key stuff is to provide helper and to move one cluster of list nodes to the end of the list. Only six steps uh, we can complete the whole behavior. And uh, this function is already accepted by the kernel uh, Linux kernel uh, list libraries right now. Uh, in the TTM BO list, um, we will use the latest uh, LRU method for TTM on the buffer migration list. Uh, these two functions implement moved uh, one buffer to the end of LRU list. The first function lets renumber and save the positions uh, why walk through the list at first time, and then we can make all the pavilion buffer and the page table buffer together with the first and the last positions. And then we make it together. And then we at the end of time at the, at the second of time, and we are able to back move them uh, together. For now, we still need to take care of the both video memory and the system memory domains. And they are in the different, because they are in the different area you list, uh, we need to handle them separately. Okay, let's move to the final functions to do in the whole bug moving. After we save all the list of system memories, video memories, and the swap ranges, and meanwhile, they are ready to complete the command summations on the VM. We are able to do the bug move, bug moving. As the functions mentioned, and we still um, we need to 
bug move all the list such as the system memory, video memory, and swap renderings because after the command submission complete, the buffer uh, let's be wrong through the VM already be used and validate uh, align with the LRU policy. We need to move them uh, to the end of the LRU list at that time. Okay, uh, this is the user case of MD GPU kernel. Uh, for Lex approach, MD GPU kernel will use all the page table and page directory and program builds into the idle list. Then move all of them on the end to the end of LRU one by one. And the result of this is two many builds are moving on the end of the LRU again and again, uh, which is a serious impact on the performance. And why we monitor the behavior with the Vulkan benchmarks and OpenCL applications, we found the bottleneck with the specific buffer migration behavior. And then with the list case, we will redesign and uh, work out the bug moving the method to collect it all the page table and the page uh, page table and the page directories and program buffer objects together, and then bug move them uh, to the end of RRU list one time instead of one by one. And that will reduce the cost. Um, during the buffer moving. Okay, as the this is a tester uh, equipment result, uh, with the tester result proved, um, about um, is about eleven percent improvement in the Taros principle games of Vulkan and thirteen percent improvement in the OpenCL benchmark applications, and bug moving will get highest uh, frames per second and the lowest latency than before uh, with the same problem and the same applications. So we, we can see here the green one. Okay, finally, I need to thanks two buddies from AMD, Christian and Alex. We co-work to deliver to we co-work to deliver the design and the implement it in the Linux kernel right now. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Okay. So, um, first of all, I think getting 11% or 13% performance gain is really big, I think. Oh, you think I, I honestly yeah. think because squeezing even a few percent is probably really hard, right? Yeah. Uh, my question is, so congratulations for the performance improvement. Oh, um, <laughs> so my question here is, when you saw the performance gain, did you, like, um, have some way to measure, like, uh, power consumption? Was there some improvement? Uh, actually, no. We, we, we don't test the power uh, consumptions during the testing. And because we, uh, because the power consumptions uh, is managed by another component, hardware component, probably we, we will do uh, next time to compare if we have the power consumptions in improvement or cost more power consumptions with the new approach of bug movie. But actually, uh, from from the method, and, and you know, bug move name one times mm -hmm. is, is uh, accessory, is mark, in, it, it should be improved uh, name one by one from the list of build. You know, I think this is the method improvement. So actually you're right, we, we should test the power consumptions. Thank you. Right, so okay. if I were to follow up, it's just that power is really like a huge issue in like an IC design nowadays. Yeah. So yeah, the yeah. software Great. people, I mean, I, this is not any kind of criticism, but this is just a generic comment about it. It's just the, everything's basically now that just limited by power. Yeah, you know, yeah, if you didn't have power consumption limitation, you could clock these things much faster, but everything just now that's just limited by power. So I just wanted to. Add it. Yes, agree. Thank you.
Any other questions? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>